forward to this opening. Just want to go through the opening sequence of James Bond with our take on nautical background. Here we see James Bond getting in his uh, water bike. He's in water here, and his hair's nice and dry. Off he goes, loads of water. Comes out the other side, through the wall, and no water. How's that work? And look at the big pipe out the back. What's that then? And look at this shot a little bit later on, and the pipe's gone. I think in the original clip, it was shot out. The dummy one was shot out the uh, building. And off he goes down the river, chasing away. Always oh, have a quick look there at the tide. Look at the edge, the tide's low on the bottom of the bridge. If we get to look at the sides in the sack, and we can see there, we can see the edges of the beach on the side of the river. So we know now it's low tide, it's quite important for later on. So James has still got dry hair, he's zipping in and out of the wash, chasing around down the Houses of Parliament. So this is all correct, going down the river, as of Parliament, and through Westminster Bridge. And she cuts in front, his hair's wet, see his hair all over his face there? He now comes past, and here's a big blooper, just about, and this one's been picked up by many people. You can see the camera in the top left-hand corner on the vessel PLA Diver. You shouldn't see a camera on a blockbuster movie. And James is now uh, going down the river. He's just had his hair cut, dried, and there it is, dry. It's not going to his face again, so it's gone dry. We go down the river, they hang a right here, both of them, and this is the same view as Doc. At the end of this dock, there's nothing. He goes straight down here, he chases it down here, down the end of the dock, and this is a dead end. But in the film, they don't, have, they don't end up in a dead end. They end up in the Docklands, in Clippers Quay. Oh, let's have a look at this on the chart. So they come down the Thames, underneath Tower Bridge, Hang a right in St Saviour's, and it's a dead end. Oh no, in the movie they go across the land, round the bottom, cross the river again, and enter in Clippers Quay into Millwall Outer Dock at Dr. Sunday Newsbook Centre. Where they race out of Clippers Quay, James Bond chases, and there she is, she's by the sailing centre. Hang on, wait, 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 what's going on here? Well, look at the left-hand side, she's anchored. I can see a string from the front of the boat to the water. In that split second, she's anchored the craft. That's amazing. She's watched all the city sailing videos on how to anchor a boat. Oh, let it come, James, over. And he's now going to hit her, and he's going to do a flip. Watch carefully as he does the flip from the side of the boat. See, clearly there, that's what was used to make the boat do a complete spin. Really effective, really good on the camera. Just see Dr. Sandy Central in the past, and she's accelerating. Here we move out of dock, and we're going to escape to the gap and go underneath Brundle Bridge. So here they go, down the dock. Did I say Millwall Dock? No, 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 they've teleported. They're now in Victoria Dock. Look how far can they walk from behind. And they're just going past the flour mill. They've completely gone about a mile to the next dock. So this is where XL is, the flour mill behind her. And just see Canary Wharf in the back. And we're going down the dock. And they've completely teleported to a different place. And now where, they, where are they now? Still in Victoria Dock. Oh no, 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 no. They've come into Millwall Dock and they're going to go underneath Glenball Bridge. So she's going to have a look there. Go for it. She'll fit underneath. These barriers underneath don't exist anymore. And that's clearly enough room underneath for James to get underneath. So we've got to measure that. He could get through there, go slow down, and you just part those bits of wood and get through easily. Oh no, 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 no. What he's going to do is going to go underwater. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's going to go underwater and his hair's going to get completely wet here, just a tight. Away you go, Jim Bob. And off he comes, back out, flick your hair back. Next scene, you're going to be completely dry. And he's going to come out of the Glengall Bridge. And whoa, 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 where is he now? Is it the West India Dock? Just past Billingsgate. Oh, he's really well lost, isn't he? He needs to do a day skipper, day skipper call to find out where he is. And this is the entrance to Blackwall Dock there. He can't get through, so he is so confused. I think he's going to have a look at his onboard navigation system. Oh, here we go. Onboard navigation system. Oh, you're not there, James. You're not there. Oh, that's confused. So he's going to turn back. Back to the dock, past Billings Gate just on the right. He's going to end up in Wapping. Completely off the mark. So he's in Wapping here. Straight up the canals in Wapping. And he's going to bounce his way up on his jet boat through the canoe shed, and the next few scenes he goes past the back of dock, through the shed that was built for the film, and then he's going to go through the streets. So off he goes, through the streets. As a um, sailing commentator, we haven't really got much to say about this going through the seats. 
Street, sorry. And he goes through and he ends up in a fish market. And um, watch when he comes out the fish market, I'll freeze the frame. You can see as he launches through the restaurant after the fish market, look at the state of the water. So through here, over his profiteroles. There we go, over the profiteroles. <coughs> the flat water, see that calm and flat? Hits the water, it's all bumpy now. Remember I said right at the beginning, tide's out, and the tide was out. So there they are, that is the right position. Tide was out, and he's prepping his torpedoes. Go for it, Jones, which one are we going to fire? I think we'll fire, yep, yep, we'll fire the top one. Oh no, we'll fire the top one again. He fired the top one twice, did you see that? Wow, amazing. And now the tide's gone back out again. So you can see all that, that big sandbank there. She's aiming towards the sandbank, going for it. Torpedoes mess. And then she drives the boat up the beach. And she's quite, see, the beach tied in now. So the tide's right in now, right to the top. So six hours has passed from the time from low tide to high tide, which we know in the city same videos. And um, let's get that. Anyway, this is the end of our um, nautical section. So thank you very much for watching. We've really enjoyed watching James Bond. We've really enjoyed, actually really enjoy all his movies, but really enjoy picking it apart and seeing the, the bits that are a little bit sceptical with sailing. Thank you very much for watching. And as a sidebar here, if you want to watch and learn anything about navigation um, and tides and how to go sailing, check out our channel, City Sailing YouTube channel or our website, citysailing.com. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, greatly appreciated. This is Paul, City Sailing, out. Do you understand?